Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So this video will be focused on answering some of the questions that you guys leave in the comments of my videos. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments of my videos and I will do a video like this where I try my best to answer them um, to the best of my ability. So this question comes from my mechanical engineering video and basically the question goes, I'm a junior right now at Purdue in ME and I agree with most of your points. You must be really smart because these classes are no joke and it seems like you breezed through them. Um, I'm also doing a CS minor and entrepreneurship certificate because I am interested in tech stuff. Would you say it is difficult to get into big tech with an ME degree? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, let me just touch on the first point about um, me breezing through this um, mechanical engineering degree at Purdue. That is not the case at all. Um, it was definitely difficult for me, especially doing mechanical engineering and with computer science as well. Balancing those two acts is very, very difficult. And in addition to that, I was um, an RA, so that is a resident assistant, so you have to do extra. No, it takes time out of your normal daily routine when it comes to being a student. So I had to manage my time really, really well. So it was definitely difficult and I did not ace every single class. Um, so I just wanted to dispel that um, and make it clear that this is going to be difficult. So to your fundamental question behind um, if it's easy to get into the tech field as a mechanical engineer or if it's difficult to get into the tech field as a mechanical engineer. I wouldn't say it's too difficult. Um, you have to know the right people. So obviously the positions for mechanical engineers in the tech industry are going to be way lower than the positions for a mechanical engineer in the automotive industry, right? So when I interned for Honda, for example, you would have an entire floor um, or an entire department rather um, full of mechanical engineers. So that company hires aggressively for mechanical engineers, right? But when you go to companies such as Google or Amazon or um, Facebook, if they are not developing any physical product, it will be hard for you to get a job as a mechanical engineer in that type of space or in that type of industry, right? So the number of available job positions for mechanical engineers in those tech industries or in those tech companies are very, very limited. It is not impossible to get a job in those kind of um, spaces, but you have to be, you have to be number one, very well connected. Number two, do your research on what type of positions will allow you to um, work as a mechanical engineer in those kind of tech um, positions. And typically with the job descriptions that I have come across in companies such as Amazon or Apple, for example, they require mechanical engineers who have, P, um, I don't wanna say PhD, but like, graduate level degrees, like master's degrees in mechanical engineering. Those are the people that you see getting jobs in those kind of tech industries, right? Um, it is easier to get a job in the automotive industry as an undergrad with a mechanical engineer than it is to get a job as an undergrad with a mechanical engineer in a company like Apple. It is not impossible, but it's easier in the automotive industry. So you just have to be aware of that. Um, the way that I was able to get into the tech space is by doing the CS minor. So I think you're doing a CS minor. So that is the way that I was able to get into the tech space. So if you maybe focus on that and maybe focus on developing some product, some projects with that technical skill when it comes to computer science that you've learned and show that on your resume, um, I think it will help you um, put you in a better position. And also find referrals, find people who already work in these companies and um, let them refer you to certain positions, right? So basically skipping that line and getting that interview, getting into that front line, I think will be very, very beneficial. So um, is it easy? No, but it's not impossible um, as long as you, you know, do your due diligence and do your research. Thank you. So yeah, now that is basically it for this video. Um, in the next one, I will also cover another comment that a subscriber left and I think it will be beneficial for me to discuss on this channel. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below and I will be able to touch on them in the future. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.